Welcome to another edition of Storytime with Dr. Sheffield. This one's a little different. This is a video book that I want to try to read as the video goes by. So I'm trying to branch out so you guys enjoy, okay? Today we're going to learn about playing fair um, and the sport is flag football. Dreamscape presents Austin Plays Fair. Austin loved playing football. He loved running down the field, catching passes, and throwing spirals. But there was one thing about playing with the Trentwood Tigers Austin did not like. The Trentwood Tigers had six, lost six games in a row. Don't worry, said Austin's dad. You just need a little more practice. Have fun, said Austin's mom. Having fun is more important than winning. Austin tried to have fun as the Tigers warmed up for the next game, but he still wished the Tigers could win at least one. Coach Tony blew his whistle. Okay, Tigers, huddle up, he called, and the team obeyed. We know the Grantville Gators are a tough team, said Coach Lauren. And we may have lost a few games lately, said Coach Tony. But we do what we do when we lose. We get up, get over it, and try again, yelled the Tigers. Coach Tony smiled. That's right. So let's get out there. With the last thumbs up, the coaches headed for the game. Hey, guys, said Bryce when the coaches were gone. I know a trick that can help us win. The team exchanged excited looks. What is it? asked Carson. Tell us, begged Jaden. Tuck your flag in like this, Bryce showed them with his flag belt. Now the other team can't get it. Kiko frowned. That's not allowed. Bryce wasn't listening. He tugged on his flag. See, even if they catch up to you, they won't be able to take it. Austin's stomach felt funny, but that's cheating. Bryce shook his head. My brother says everyone does. Stuff like that. Aren't you tired of losing, he pleaded. The Tigers looked at each other. Well, if everybody does it, said Jason. And the players began tucking their flags into their belts. I just want to win once, thought Austin. And the tuck he tucked his flag into. The Gators started out strong, making two touchdowns in the first half. Remember what I told you, whispered Bryce in the huddle. Carson snapped the ball to Kiko. She lobbed it to Austin and he took off down the field. On his left, a gator came streaking towards Austin. The gator caught up with Austin at the five-yard line and grabbed for his flag, but it stayed tucked tightly in his belt. Touchdown, yelled the referee as Austin scored and crossed the goal line. Yeah. <laughs> 
That night at dinner, Austin's dad smiled as he slapped an extra big hamburg onto Austin's plate. You must be hungry after that win. I knew all your hard work would pay off, said Austin's mom. The Gators didn't pull a single tiger flag. Suddenly, Austin wasn't very hungry. Austin still had knots in his stomach during the next game. Tigers warmed up. Everyone said the Mustangs were the best team in town. Great game last week, Tigers, said Coach Lauren. But don't forget, added Coach Tony, winning isn't the most important part of football. Austin raised his hand. My mom says the most important part is to have fun. Coach Tony smiled. Well, it's important to have fun, but it's even more important to play a game you can be proud of. That's right, said Coach Lauren. If you've done your best and played fair, you can feel proud of every game, even the ones you lose. Don't forget to tuck in your flags, said Bryce as soon as the coaches left the huddle. Austin crossed his arms. No, he said loudly. Everyone looked at him. Why not, said Bryce. It worked great. Austin shook his head. I want to play a game we can be proud of, like Coach said. The other Tigers nodded. Me too, said Jalen. No more cheating, said Carson. Bryce looked unhappy, but he didn't argue. The Tigers played better than they had ever played before. With two minutes left in the game, they just needed one more touchdown to win fair and square. Kiko dropped back to pass. The Mustangs were closing in fast. Bryce was wide open. He jumped to catch her pass and took off down the field. Austin followed, blocking for him. Bryce was almost to the goal line when a girl in a Mustang jersey cut in front of him. The Mustang player yanked on Bryce's flag but it would not budge. With a final burst of speed, Bryce broke free and ran into the end zone, punching the air in victory. Yay! The Tigers rushed onto the field cheering, but Austin didn't feel like running anymore. Why so glum, Austin? The referee asked. Austin looked across the field at his teammates celebrating, and he took a deep breath. I need to tell you something. He knew why Bryce had been able to score. He had cheated and tucked in his flag. After the game, Austin and his family went out for ice cream. I know it was probably hard for you when the referee took away the touchdown, said mom. But we're so proud of you for being honest. We sure are, said Dad. How do you feel, son? Pretty good, said Austin, licking the drips from his chocolate cone. Even though you lost, asked Dad, Austin nodded. It would have felt good to win, but it feels better to play fair. He took another lick of ice cream and grinned. And next time, we're going to do both. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Storytime with Dr. Sheffield, written by Tony and Lauren Dungeon, illustrated by Guy Wolek. Produced and directed by Andy Jones. 
Animated by Maria Lanero. Sound design by Eric Black. Again, thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope you learned a lesson about playing fair when it comes to sports or just anything in life. Um, always think about playing fair and being honest. Remember what the H stands for in hero, being honorable. We'll see you next time.